Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today we're gonna to be making this adorable fabric covered lampshade. So for this project, you will need some fun fabric. About one yard of fabric is perfect for this project. If you have a larger lampshade, you might want to uh, just double check it will be enough. You'll also need some sort of a marking tool and a rotary trimmer, and of course, your lampshade. I also recommend you best press your fabric or starch it prior to putting it on your lampshade. It'll just give it a little bit more structure. So we're gonna start off by placing our fabric right side down on the table, and then we're going to place our lampshade down on that as well. And I like to start at the lampshade seam. So I'm going to take my pin and just slowly roll my lampshade across my fabric while tracing along that bottom edge. Now, because my lampshade isn't perfectly straight up and down, you'll see I'm starting to get a little curve going here. And that's why I feel like this is the easiest way to do this pattern. It makes a nice template that's gonna to be totally custom for your specific lampshade. And you're just gonna keep tracing until you get all the way back to that starting point. And then I'm gonna go about one inch past my seam and stop. Now we're gonna roll our lampshade back to the beginning and repeat this same process tracing along the top edge of our lampshade. And just go slow, make sure your lampshade doesn't slide around on you. Take your time and then again, when you get back to that seam, again, go about one inch past your seam. And then we're just gonna draw a straight line connecting those two end points. You can eyeball it or use a ruler. Next, we're gonna take our rotary trimmer and just trim along that edge, leaving yourself about a half to one inch extra fabric outside of your drawn line. And you can eyeball this. You don't need to be super specific with it. And here we have our perfect template. Next, I've pressed in one of the short ends just in by about an inch so that we don't have a raw edge there. And I did press in along my drawn line just to give me a guide. Next, you're going to take some spray adhesive and spray the back side of your fabric. Make sure to cover your working surface. I forgot to do that here. Then we're gonna take our lampshade and just carefully roll it along our sprayed fabric. And it should go on pretty evenly. Just make sure to smooth out any creases as you go. And then when you get to the end here, you can add a little bit more of your adhesive and then just press down. Make sure that you have your folded edge on the outside so you don't have any raw edges. Mine's overlapping a little bit more than you need here, so just about an inch would be fine. And then just press your edges in on the bottom and top of your lampshade. And then if you have any places like I do where this black wire is, you just trim a little slit in your fabric and then press it back down and you're good to go. Now you could leave it like this. I do have raw edges in there, but I'm gonna add this ribbon. I thought it would be a really cute touch. So I'm just making sure that I have enough ribbon to go all the way around my lampshade, overlapping about an inch. If you don't wanna use ribbon, you could definitely take the raw edges, fold them under one quarter of an inch, and then press them into the inside of your lamp, and that would give you a finished edge on the inside as well. Next, I'm just taking my hot glue gun and just making sure to get a little glue on the lamp and on the fabric, and then I'm going to just cover up that raw edge with this cute Moda ribbon. This is a ribbon from one of my older fat quarter bundles, and I thought it would just be a cute touch. But of course, this is completely optional. I'm gonna continue adding my ribbon all the way around the edge and then just overlap that end by about an inch and glue that down so that it's nice and secure. Once the bottom is done, I'll go ahead and repeat that exact same process on the top of the lamp. And I'm just putting my ribbon behind those black metal bars and it stays nice and secure and it looks super cute. So here is my finished lampshade. I think it turned out really cute. The only thing left to do is to add it to our lamp and enjoy our custom fabric lampshade. All right guys, that was it for today's video. As you can see, it was so easy and fast and I think it had a really big payoff. Just covering that plain white lampshade with some fun fabric made it really nice and cozy in here and of course, a little bit unique as well. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming fun. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you in, in the next video. All right, guys, that is it. As you can see, this project was so fast and easy, and I think it had a huge payoff. It really added some cozy vibes to my sewing room, and of course, you can change it out to match any of your favorite fabric. I might be switching this out by season. I don't know, can you do that? And that's it, you guys. This was such an easy project. I kind of want to cover all my lampshades now. And of course, it made it a little bit more unique than just a plain, thanks.